Good morning. Kevin Pishke with Midwest Outdoors. We're on Green Bay today. We're chasing these post-spawn walleye. Tim's got one hooked up right now. We're sitting in about 14 feet of water. We started out earlier this morning, shallower, ran into nothing but sheephead, went out a little deeper to try and find a walleye. We'll see what we got going here in a minute while Tim brings it in. Biggest thing is, is when you're popping these planter boards with a fish is not to let the fish get slack. You pressure on until they can reel back down. That's what we're looking for right there. Swing your head here, right, Tim? There we go. That's what we're looking for. Your perfect eating size Green Bay walleye right there. We're gonna let him go and see how many more of these we can find. Swing that over my head, Tim. And in we go. Here we go. Another nice, clean Green Bay walleye. We seem to be getting into them now. We're fishing out of my Mirocraft aggressor today. Mirocrafts are manufactured about 35 miles northwest of Green Bay in Gillette, Wisconsin. Uh, been running Mirocrafts for nine years now and have nothing but good things to say about them. They're a well-built boat with a lot of features uh, that make them very fishable. They ride great in the water, but yet they're still very affordable. Uh, one of my favorite features of my new aggressor this year is the nine foot rod locker. Uh, it's wide open. You can fit a dozen to 15 rods in it, depending on the size of the reels. And for us musky guys that are casting nine foot rods and the trolling rods for walleye that are nine foot, uh, they fit in there. There's no breaking them down, plenty of room for them. They're not getting tangled up. They're not bouncing around in the boat. One of the nice features uh, that's become popular in boats in the last five to seven years are the fold up jump seats in the back of the boat. Mirrorcraft has them built in in the rear. They fold up. They're comfortable, there's plenty of room, and they're very sturdy. The reason I like them is, is we can keep the boat less cluttered and not have three, four, five seats in the boat for clients, or even if we're out with family having fun. You can flip up the back seats, they have a safe, stable spot to sit, and when we're done traveling, seats go down and we're back to our casting platform in the back of the boat. Mirrorcraft found a great balance uh, in the layout of this boat with having a large enough front deck for two anglers to cast off of without getting in each other's way, but yet maintaining enough space in the back of the boat for a third caster or for, as we're doing today, plenty of room for your trolling setups. Uh, great boat, great layout, lots of room, plenty of fishable space in it, and also a great boat for taking the family out for a ride or tubing or fun. Tim's hooked up on another fish. Just made our pass spun around to start our second trip back to the north and the planer board ducked under. Take our time getting it up to the boat and it looks like another Green Bay walleye. Definitely not the size we're looking for today but we're getting in some fish and it's good to see these younger healthy walleye. So I'm fishing with my good friend and avid outdoorsman Tim Newtals today and Tim's got one hooked up. It's another flicker minnow. Tim was running that one about 45 feet behind the board. All right, planer board's off. It's all yours, Tim. Nice looking walleye. More of what we're looking for today. Boy, all these fish today are just hooked in the lip by the back hook and they're popping off when we get in the net. Quick little tip while Tim's fighting his fish, the hook, the bait ended up getting snagged in the net. Quick, easy thing to do is just to cut the line Leave it in the net, get it out after you land your second fish. Again, you can see how he's just hanging off that tail hook. Hook nice and light. There we go. Nice job. We'll get him back in the water because it looks like we got a third fish on. What we definitely found a school of small males. Always remember too, when you're getting into a school of fish like this and you got multiple rods going off at the same time, drop yourself a waypoint. So you remember and you can come back to it. Nice job. So we're gonna reset, try and find a few bigger ones, but again, we just hit a nice school of these young male walleye. As I said earlier, you get multiple fish on at one time, you end up, these hooks will get snagged in the net. They're small hooks, it happens. Don't panic, cut the line, leave the bait in the net, 
and go on net your next fish. And if that's not a wonderful sight right there, three fish in a row. Tim definitely got the hot side of the boat today. This looks like it could be a little better sized fish. Nice size walleye. Beautiful walleye. Yep, keeping that rod down helps keep that fish head under the water. Little tangle up in a net, but we got it. Again, on that purple number five flicker minnow. We'll drop this one on the board just to get a size of it. That's one thing about the fish out here, they hit about that 19, 20 inch mark and they just, they get beefy. Beautiful fish. There we go, 22 inches. Well, I'm Kevin Pischke from Midwest Outdoors. We'll see you on the water again soon.